Yo, what is up, guys? It's Elite right here, aka Sean, bringing you guys another Mob, Moab. I'm not exactly sure how to say it because every time I say it one way, someone always says it's another way, but people are telling me it's pronounced Moab, so I might as well call it Moab. And I'm, <laughs> I guarantee someone's gonna say you're supposed to say it a different way, but you know what? I'm calling it Moab. I'm calling it whatever I call it, and you know what I mean. But um, I do get another Moab in this gameplay. I'm playing some Domination on Hard Hat, and that's not the only thing that's hard in this game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but for real, guys, like I did super well in this game. I went 52 and no, 51 and two. Um, it's not my best gameplay, but it's definitely up there. And I'm using the MP7 with rapid fire and a silencer. I'm using the special strike package, like I said before, which is the best strike package to use when going for a Moab. And I'm also uh, using the FMG9 and Kimbo's for my secondary, because those things are deadly as hell. Don't even get me started. Some of my friends don't consider them overpowered, but I definitely think they're overpowered. People say, well, they're not overpowered, they just have really fast fire rate. Well, that's the thing that makes them overpowered, especially when they're a Kimbo. I mean, by itself, it's not overpowered, but when you have two of them, they're deadly as shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in this gameplay, I was doing fair, uh, fairly well. I wasn't, my main mindset before the game, I wasn't trying to go for the Moab. I was just doing pretty well, then I decided around like my, I say, 16 kill streak I was at, I, I started going for it. And uh, these kids weren't the best kids ever. I mean, I definitely faced some better kids before, but um, they weren't the worst kids, they knew what they're doing. And uh, getting these Moabs, I think I have around four so far. Four Moabs, I'm keeping a count of how many I have on my little uh, bio on my Xbox. It's pretty corny, and that was the thing people did in Modern Warfare 2, but you know what, I'm bringing it back, I'm doing it for Modern Warfare 3, because getting Moabs in this game compared to getting nukes in Modern Warfare 2, you feel a lot more accomplished, you feel like you actually deserved getting that, you feel super special, and um, thrilled that you got it, I guess. I love seeing that little uh, 24 point streak, since I'm using Hardline, I almost pop a stiffy every time I see it, <laughs> but um... When going for the Moab, like I said before, I'm not I'm not gonna guys that many tips this time because I have three other videos giving some tips, but just stay confident, stay calm, use a weapon you feel most confident with, and try to play with some teammates. Those are like main tips. And um try to go around the edges of the map. But the funny thing is in most of these gameplays you'll see me just running through the middle, just rushing around. But uh, I'm trying to play very stealthy. Like you see right now I'm kinda laying down, but I'm trying to hear it for the enemies, and I think I die here. I'm pretty sure I die here. Yeah, I die here. That's my only well, that's one of my deaths. That's one of my deaths, but I start picking it up and I get him back, get my revengeance, and get that Moab. But, um, the, yeah, like I was saying, I kind of run out on the whole entire map, but, um, I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to play careless. I'm actually trying to play kind of smart. Like, in certain situations, I know what to do. Um, since I have a Turtle Beach headset, I can hear the enemy footsteps, and, um, when I'm going around the corners, I know what to do. And there's my dog barking. Why are you barking, dog? You have nothing to bark at. She just barks because she hears nothing. I don't know, maybe I got supersonic hearing or something, but, um, uh, yeah, just try to stay calm, and you'll do fine, and don't, don't get mad, if you die, don't not get mad, because you'll keep getting mad, and more mad, then you'll rage quit, then you'll piss off, then yeah, you, you're just pissed and you hate the game, but just stay calm, and you'll do fine, but, um, in this, in this commentary, I want to talk about mainly the Call of Duties, and what your personal favorite Call of Duty is, because there is a lot of them, and a lot of people have their own personal opinions. So most people consider Call of Duty 4 or the first Modern Warfare their favorite Call of Duty because it's super original. The kill streaks are not overpowered at all. There's there's only UAV, airstrike, and the helicopter, which is a main reason why a lot of people like the game the most because the kill streaks and the weapons. All the weapons seem to be pretty balanced. I know there are some overpowered weapons, and uh, some weapons are better than others, but overall the weapons aren't that overpowered. <clears throat> and um, honestly, guys, I I played Call of Duty 4, but the thing is, it's pretty sad that I don't own the game. I mainly played it at friends' houses, and that's the only chances I got to play it since I didn't have an Xbox at the time or a PS3 at the time. So I can't really consider it my favorite Call of Duty yet because, um, like I said, I didn't really play it that much. But um, I did play World at War, and I had it for the PS3. I didn't have it for the Xbox because for my PS3, which is at my dad's house, I go in there on the weekends, and for some reason, I decided to buy it for PS3 and not my Xbox. But um. I had a lot of fun playing World at War, but it's definitely not my favorite. It might be for some of you guys. I mean, if you like World War II, I'm pretty sure it was World War II. Um, 
all that old era kind of guns, uh, the Thompsons and uh, what else was there? I'm trying to think of the old old guns, um, the carbines, uh, the bolt action rifles. If you guys like those type of weapons, you'll definitely love that game because it's all old, old kind of stuff like that. But uh, I did play it for a while. I think I only like prestige twice in that game, but it's still a lot of fun playing it. It's pretty original. The kill streaks aren't that bad, and it's pretty fun getting the dogs and how the kill streaks are set. But um, and Modern Warfare 2. This is probably my favorite. Uh, Call of Duty, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty tough call because I said before, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 are so close in what my personal favorite is. Um, in Modern Warfare 2, there's a lot of things I like and there's also a lot of things I don't like. And the things I like are the weapons, I love all the weapons, they're all, they're all pretty balanced and there are some weapons I just love, like I love the tire, I put a silencer on that gun, it was just my favorite gun in all the Call of Duties, it just, it just felt right to use and for me, it felt right. But for the downsides, like the kill streaks, yeah, that that's that's a little problem. I mean, some of the kill streaks were pretty overpowered, especially how they stacked to get other kill streaks, and people would boost to get that. And some of the perks were pretty pretty obnoxious, like one man army, danger close, noob tube. That was pretty pathetic. I mean, if they took that out, it'd probably be my favorite. But with that little kind of stuff like that, it's kind of annoying and kind of ruins the game. But um, I also love the sniping in that game. Oh, it's very easy to do. You see most montages of Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 because in those games, the uh, sniping was super easy. And in Modern Warfare 3, the sniping is probably just as easy as Modern Warfare 2, or possibly even easier. Um, I don't snipe too much, but I stump enough where I enjoy it and I have fun doing it, but I'm not exactly sure if it's easier in um, Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. It seems pretty close to me, but uh, you guys can judge. And for Black Ops, oh, hmm, Black Ops, oh, Black Ops, oh, Treyarch. I kind of liked Black Ops while it was out. I mean, when it first came out, I enjoyed playing it. But the more I started playing it, the less I started liking it. I mean, at first, it was co pretty cool to buy the weapons and buy your and to make your emblems and buy your titles and shit with the with the credits you get in each game. I mean, it was also fun playing the wager matches. But after a while, once you started getting a higher level, and it seems pretty stupid just to buy the weapons. It feels more. It feels right just to unlock them and not just to buy them because uh, you earn them instead of just buying it with your money. And I mean the wager, the wager matches were fun like I said. They're a bunch of fun say if you're kind of getting sick of the multiplayer in Black Ops and you want to play something just to relax and have fun. You can go ahead and play wager matches but if you're playing high roller and you bet 10k and lose it then you could be pretty pissed. But if you're just playing that uh, that that wager match where you bet like only 10 credits or something like that, that was pretty fun to play. Playing all those game types was a lot of fun. But I mean, I did enjoy. I did. I did. I did. I did. Blah, blah, blah. I did enjoy Black Ops. Um, I did get to 10th prestige, or was it 15th? 15th. I did get to 15th prestige. <laughs> I. It's 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 funny that I think of it now because it's pretty pretty ridiculous that I got to 15th prestige in that game, even though it was Black Ops. But uh, I did play while I was out, and since it was the newest released game, that's why I played it. But and for Modern Warfare 3. Like I said, this is a pretty stiff competition between this game and Modern Warfare 2 because they're pretty, pretty. They're both a lot of fun. They're both made by Infinity Ward, or at least helped make by Infinity Ward because we know that in this game it was helped by Infinity Ward, Raven Games, and Sledgehammer. But I'm not, I'm not even sure what Raven Games did because ever after it since they released the name, I haven't heard anything from Raven Games. If you guys know anything that Raven Games did in this game, please tell me because I definitely do not know what they did. And um. I'm pretty sure Raven Games makes other games like, I'm, I think they made, uh, what's the game called? We have that freaking armor abilities and shit. Huh, I have the game here, but I just forgot the name of the game. Crisis, yeah, they made Crisis, I'm pretty sure, at least helped make it. Don't take my word on it, but I'm pretty sure they helped, but, yeah guys, below, please leave your comment on what you think your favorite Call of Duty is. There is, oh, I got my mob. I forgot to say, I got my Moab. My mob, my mob, my mother of all boobs, my mother of all bombs, whatever you want to call it. My Moab, I'm calling it Moab because people say it's that. I said before, I'm going to say it again. People call it that, so I'm calling it that. But I got it. My fourth one ever. Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, guys, like I said, please leave a comment below saying what your favorite Call of Duty is because everyone has their own personal opinions, has their reasons. You, could, you guys can give your, your reasons why you like it or the reasons why you dislike certain Call of Duty games. Just say so below because I'm interested in your guys' opinions. But yeah, guys, this is Domination Hard Hat. I got a Moab. I want 51 and 2. I hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for more Moabs because I'll definitely be getting them. So yeah, guys, it's Elite Shot here. 
aka Sean, signing out. Peace.